Hello friends, welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to discuss about multiple integrals. In general, in our day-to-day -day life, we are frequently using two words, differentiation and integration. Differentiation in general, it is the process of separation or division, whereas integration is the process of making unity or togetherness. Now, in terms of mathematics, differentiation is nothing but the process of getting the derivative. Finding the derivative is known as differentiation. Whereas, integration is nothing but finding the area bounded by the reason within the given limits. Now, in today's class, I am going to discuss in detail about integration. So, because multiple integrals having wide range of applications in science and engineering and technology. So, therefore, it is very essential to learn about multiple integration. Now, I am going to explain in detail. Yes, here the title is multiple integrals. The name itself suggesting that we are going to integrate some function more than one times. That is known as multiple integration. Usually here we are mainly focusing on two types of integrals. One is double integrals. Double integrals. And second one is triple integrals. Triple integrals. So we already know from previous classes what is single integration process. So suppose if you consider one integral i is equals to integral a to b f of x dx. So this is the well known symbol right. Here LHS part capital I represents integral. Integral is equals to so, integral limits, lower limit is A and the upper limit is B and f of x indicates the function with respect to the variable dx. So, usually uh, it means that we have to integrate the given function with respect to the variable x and here they are given limits for the given function. So, what are the limits? Lower limit of the given integral is a and upper limit of the given integral is b. So similarly we can define the integral for double and triple integration. So let us consider two integral signs. So first integral sign takes the limits a to b and second integral sign let us take from b to c and the function is given by f of x comma y into dx into dy. See this is the general representation of double integration because it contains two integral signs and the function is defined by f of x comma y. f is a function of both x and y with respect to the variables dx and dy. It means we are integrating the function two times one time with respect to x and another time with respect to dy sorry y so in the same way we can proceed with triple integration means as simple as it contains three integral signs so let us uh, name the limits so first integral limits maybe it is from a to b and second integral limits from b to c and third is from c to d let us assume the given function is a function of three variables x y z with respect to the variables dx dy dz okay here first time we are integrating with respect to x then with respect to y then with respect to z. So that is the meaning of uh, triple integration. 
now in detail let us uh, learn about double and triple integration usually the name integration is nothing but in the mathematical uh, uh, expression we are going to find the area bounded by the region so here if we use single single integration we are finding the area if we use double and triple integration we are going to evaluate the bounded area within 2d and 3d spaces so let us uh, take one simple example so first example consider the integral limits from 1 to 2 and function let us take it as x square into dx so take it as i okay suppose this is the given integral so we need to evaluate this integral here the given function is x square we need to integrate the function x square with respect to the variable x and we need to use the lower limit 1 and upper limit 2 so within 1 to 2 suppose if you take the limit let us assume so so you are starting x value is 1 and the final point final point of x is 2 so this is the given reason 1 to 2 so within this let us assume some curve so the curve name is maybe it is x square so x square is bounded from the limit 1 to 2 so this area we are going to find with the help of integration that is the actual meaning of integration so now if you integrate the function so i is equals to integration of x square so before going to learn the integration so we need to thorough with some uh, integration formulas like differentiation so in previous classes we know that for differentiation differentiation formulas plays a very prominent role here also to understand in detail what is integration means you need to go with basic formulas related to integrations here we are going to use the formula so integration of x power n into dx so we know it's a formula of integration of x power n gives x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where c is constant of integration now if you compare with the given integral so given integral contains the function x square so if you compare with x power n so your n value is 2 okay so therefore if you integrate x square you are getting x power 2 plus 1 because in place of n you are replacing with 2 so therefore you are getting x power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 with the limits lower limit is 1 upper limit is 2 now in next step i is equals to x power 2 plus 1 gives 3 divided by 3 so x cube by 3 you are getting so the limits you write as it is 1 to 2 so in next step i is equals to here constant term you take it outside here 1 by 3 acts as a constant and the variable is x cube so x cube will take the limits from 1 to 2 now so you know obviously applying the limits upper limit is 2 and lower limit is 1 so if you rewrite this integral 1 by 3 is constant in place of x use the upper limit 2 one time so in place of x if you use the upper limit 2 then your function becomes 2 cube and while substituting lower limit you are using minus sign minus of lower limit in place of x if you use lower limit 1 you are getting 1 cube so if you simplify this i is equals to 1 by 3 into so 2 cube gives 8 minus 1 cube is 1 so if you simplify further i is equals to 8 minus 1 gives 7 divided by 3 so this integral value is 7 by 3 so this is the usual single integration 
process as we know from previous classes. Now we need to evaluate the double and triple integral in the same way. So in my next video I am going to explain in detail evaluation of double and triple integral. Thank you for watching.